the more I talk about birth rate trends and global trends, more women jump onto my post and speak about their countries. A woman mentioned Italy's birth rate. So I get on the Google machine and I see that Italy's birth rate is at 1.24, well below replacement, well below the United States. Um, the United States is sitting at 1.64. Okay, let's jump in to a little bit more about Italy. Okay, so I found an article about Italy. No more Bambinos, Italy's firms move to tackle birth crisis. So Italy's, comp Italy's companies are putting their money where their mouths are. So they are so worried about the declining birth rate and lack of workers that they have begun paying families, nursery school fees, and childcare costs to spur them to have more babies. Cartagliano, a town of 3,800 inhabitants and scores of small businesses in the northeastern Veneto region is not unique. Similar schemes have sprung up around Italy's industrial north and exasperated and as exasperated firms of all sizes take matters into their own hands. They're not waiting on the government, I guess, um, as they try to um, arrest an acute demogra demographic crisis. Italy is far from alone. Its fertility rate of around 1.2 children per woman is among the lowest in the world, but the trend of declining births and aging populations is common to many advanced countries. Veneto is known for its multitude of family-run businesses that form the backbone of the country's industrial fabric. It is a model that is threatened not only by globalization and the cheap competition from Asia, but also by the lack of young people to work in its factories and workshops. When I was a girl, there was always kids running around here. Now hardly any are born and only old people stay, um, says Ilian. Um, I'm sorry, Miss Capeller, indicating a deserted square under the shade of Cartigliano's imposing bell tower. Please forgive the pronunciation. I am really trying. Okay. Okay. In the 12 months after the scheme was launched in April 2021, they raised 4,800, 48,000 euros, which was spent on five projects funding family schools and childcare prep, um, provisions. Capeller aims to garner another 100,000 euros over the next year. We are very attached to Cardigliano, but this is also about self-interest because we can't find any workers anymore. So Italy saw just under 400,000 births in 2021, the 13th straight annual decline and the fewest since 1861. The population fell by over a quarter of a million to 59 million. And it, look, it looks like the country is headed to 500 million fewer inhabitants by 2050. But the reasons are the same, lack of affordable childcare and job security. So jump in the comments, tell me what you think.